first of all, I want to say you're very beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Normally I wouldn't be like this. Just and something happened last time. Like I'm still emotional mm -hmm. with the excess emotions. Nou, dankjewel dat je er bent. Welkom. Um, zou je ons je voornaam kunnen vertellen? Ja, tuurlijk. My name is Kim. My name is Daria. My name is Clara. Craig. Min. Amar. Pachal. Gab. Galena. Joy. Can you maybe tell us something about yourself? So as a hobby lately, I started to buy magazines and do collages out of them, just as a way to track how I'm doing and how I interpret work now. The, that I'm uh, 21 years old and I still cannot bike, but I've finally made my peace with that. I love gaming, especially uh, car simulators. I actually got a gaming studio recently playing music in the background on the boombox, driving, because it reminds me about home, but yeah, I love driving a lot. <laughs> um, I like cartoons. My dream is to be an animated movie director. I uh, game graag, I like veel films, action vooral. I go natuurlijk ook altijd out with friends. What does well-being mean to you? Personally, well-being for me means to um, look inwards in yourself. Being a listening ear to someone, just being there and um, supporting them and guiding them whenever they actually need it as well. Well-being uh, means uh, having uh, inner peace, uh, being uh, in control with your life, but not like the control that makes you stress out. Dagelijkse moment voor jezelf pakken om gewoon iets te doen wat je, ja, waar je gewoon energie uithaalt. Dus dat kan bijvoorbeeld wandelen zijn of tekenen of met een vriendin afspreken en op die manier gewoon, ja, elke dag gewoon een moment voor jezelf te pakken. Can you share a personal story with us, something that touched you? Right now, I can think of. Uh, Last year and how I almost had a burnout. I was really stressed out. My first year living on my own, my first year abroad, my first year without my parents. And I, I am really close with my parents. I was stressed out. I was crying over grades and stuff like that. It was bad, so yeah. <laughs> well, I'm an international student, so I come all the way from Zimbabwe. And knowing that I come from a very far away land, I always uh, have to keep myself calm, knowing that I should not fumble because of this great opportunity that was given to me. Because yeah, my parents work uh, so hard to earn enough money to pay for the tuition here. So I know that I should not make mistakes or make decisions that will fail to uh, make me produce what my father expects from me. Like They sent me out here to make my life better as well as theirs. So I'm willing to return the favor by uh, working hard. And uh, it's not that easy, but then I always try to keep myself calm by not always thinking that if I make a mistake, then life is over. I know that uh, in life there are chances, but I also know that uh, with links and uh, just not giving up, I know I'll make it, so yeah. So I, I grow up in a culture that with everyone around me telling me what's wrong with my appearance, what's wrong with my face, what's wrong with my body. And um, I always feel like I, I, I grew up being the ugly one at school or whatever. So I always feel like I have to earn love some other way because I'm not pretty. So I always push myself to do something. I have to top the class. I always pressure myself to top the class at school to do everything perfectly, perfectly, I know it's never perfect. But yeah, uh, whenever I'm not able to do something or I, um, I can't achieve something, I feel like I will lose that chance of love. And that is very toxic. And, um, but it already became something in me. Uh, I learned it along the way. Now that I'm aware of it, I can't really take it off completely of myself. But yeah, now that I'm aware of it, it's, um, I'm taking actions to heal. First of all, I want to say you're very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very beautiful. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Normally, I wouldn't be like this. Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't okay. cry. I don't cry I easily. Crying. <laughs> Normally, I, I wouldn't cry. I don't want to cry. But no, but you are beautiful. 
just yeah. something happened last time. Like I'm still emotional mm-hmm. with the excess emotions. Mm-hmm. Kun je ons uh, tip, tip met ons delen waar uh, wat je hoop heeft tijdens dit tijd? Ja, ik denk dat juist doordat ik dat mee heb gemaakt, dat ik heel veel geleerd heb over mezelf. En dat ik nu uh, inzie dat ik veel liever voor mezelf mag zijn. En dat ik op die manier, um, ja, dat ik dat heel erg geleerd heb. En ik kan mensen ook adviseren om gewoon, ja, zoek gewoon iemand waarmee je kan praten. Of zoek trainingen waarin je jezelf kan ontwikkelen. En ik zie ook dat dit uh, mij alleen maar sterker heeft gemaakt. Ja. I would say that I have three tips that I'm trying to work with to keep it very simple for myself. And the first one is to keep all my to-do lists as short as possible. So not to put everything in one go, just do as much as I can in a day. And the second thing is actually talking to those around me, those in my circle that actually want to be there for me and to support me throughout. And also the third thing is to have time for yourself and which is something that I'm trying to do, to talk more with my family and to just to read a lot of novels and to have that leisure time make a bucket list of a day even if it's just two items like grocery shopping and brushing my teeth or brushing my hair and then it's just to kind of get an overview of what you need to do today because sometimes it can feel very overwhelming but then if you put it all down in a list it's you realize it's actually just a very few things i think talking with people who experience the same and actually helping those people because for me when i help my Ukrainian and Russian friends by giving a little present or just talking or just going for a walk. It also helps me because it's all about energies. Ja, om het echt gewoon te bespreken met mensen, je gevoelens te delen, hulp te zoeken. Ik heb ook hulp gezocht en het heeft mij echt heel erg geholpen. En er zijn allerlei verschillende vormen van hulp ook. Dus je zou naar een psycholoog kunnen gaan. Maar ik heb bijvoorbeeld um, haptotherapie gehad. Haptotherapie, dat is veel meer de connectie met je lichaam. Zoek een manier, zoek hulp dat voor jou werkt.